Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today to check out the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops versus the iconic London Original Illuminator Drops. <laughs> Who is gonna win? Price-wise, they are very, very similar, both £32-ish something, £32. Um, however, the Marc Jacobs, you get 30 mils, which is like the equivalent of what you get for foundation. So 30 mils in here, 13 and a half mils in here. So not even half, the same money. So actually, these are way, way cheaper, half the price, despite it being a really high-end brand, a very established brand, and Iconic London being a very new, um, young brand so that is a bit of a shocker for me the price of these is mark jacobs dew drops currently only come in one shade however the fact that they have named the shade and it has a number it says 50 do you um dew drops so do you is the shade and dew drops is the name of the product and it says it's the number 50 that leads me to believe that more are coming fingers crossed more are coming guys Iconic London's Illuminator Drop started off with this shade, which is the original, and this is um, described as a champagne colour. They now also have like a pinky shade um, and also a very deep bronzy shade. So there's kind of a shade for like each skin tone, whereas at the moment we've just got the original GU Drops in the Marc Jacobs, which is like a peachy gold shade is how it's described. The Marc Jacobs Drops smell of coconut, and they also have coconut, five forms of coconut infused into them, as well as vitamin B5. So it's kind of got some skincare um, benefits in there as well. Whereas the Iconic London Drops are just a highlighter. So let's have a look at how they actually perform. So start with the Iconic London Drops and give them a bit of a shake, always shake anything like this. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. The Iconic Drops are much thinner in consistency. Obviously the Marc Jacobs claim to be a gel as opposed to a liquid, um, so you would expect it to be thicker, which it is. Marc Jacobs comes with a pump um, and the Iconic London has like this little dropper situation with like a ball on the end very science-like. So, just gonna give these a little blend. And we have the Iconic London drops on the top here, and then the Dew drops on the bottom. So you can see they are fairly similar in their color. To me, the um, Iconic London drops have like more of a shimmer versus a glow and um, and they have a kind of pinky undertone to them almost whereas I'd say that the Juju drops have more of a sort of um, straight gold tone to them and there are more sort of wet look as opposed to a shimmer. So the Juju drops um, are definitely in my opinion more suited to sort of using on your body as like a moisturizer mixed in with your moisturizer or on your collarbones things like that because they are so blendable it is, does feel like a thick sort of moisturizer consistency and um, whereas the iconic london that is completely dry now and it's not really blending out whereas you can get hold of the dew drops and literally move them all over your body so if you're looking for something for your body that you can just use by itself and have the most glowing skin ever seen on this earth then maybe the GU would be for you and also because you've got so much you don't have to worry about kind of slathering all over yourself and running out and um, obviously the drops you could certainly mix them in with your moisturizer to make them go further and to make them sort of not dry down too quickly I'm going to show you them sort of sheared out so the iconic drops are on this side of my hand and the dew drops are on this side of my hand so as you can see, both are like a gorgeous glowing sheen. I'd say if anything, the Iconic London has a more like metallic finish to it um, and the Dewdrops have more of a wet look to them. Both 
totally gorgeous um, and both very beautiful on lots of different skin tones. As I said, the iconic London, because it does come in those different shades. If you did have very, very deep skin or very, very light skin, um, you could obviously have those options of the different lighter and darker shades to help you find the right one for your skin tone, which was a bonus. I've just quickly wiped that off with a wipe and as you can see neither has left like any glitter or any residue they both came off very very easily um, no issues with anything like that so let's try them on the face so I'm going to start off with the iconic drops so I'm going to give them another shake and then how I like to apply these is that I will drop them onto the back of my hand let's just go one drop let's not go nuts I have learned a lot about how to use these a bit better. So I'm just going to pat my hand in my finger into there and I'm going to start on the top of my cheekbones. I think one of the big keys for these types of dropper kind of highlights is actually to not be scared of them. Because I think in the past where I've been so scared and I've tried to use such a small amount that's actually caused me problems and made it really hard to blend out because it's just dried immediately that it's hit my skin because it's been such a small amount as so if you actually go a bit braver it's actually a lot less um, of an issue with blending it so I like to pat it all on and then just use my beauty blender to sort of blend it in I don't have any issues with this sort of separating my makeup or moving things or anything like that and you can just see how amazing that catches the light. So I'm going to take a little bit more and dab that above my eyebrow. And head towards the forehead. And then I'm going to use the rest of this to pop onto my shoulder sort of catching the light slightly there but it's not like crazy it's just a kind of a nice little this however beautiful and obviously you can ah obviously you can sort of build this up to be as crazy as you want and you can also and um, use it as a base for a powder highlight if you want to go absolutely blinding. So you can see really glowy and actually the pink shade that you saw in the back of my hand doesn't really transfer when you put it onto your cheekbone. It's actually really just reflecting a really glowy champagne colour which is how it's described. Now for the dew drops which I apply it basically the exact same way so I'll do a kind of the smallest amount I can pump out because a little really does go a very long way with these. And then I would dab my little uh, ring finger in there and pat onto the cheekbones. And you can see how much more kind of applies. So even though we've already kind of talked about how much more you get for your money with the dew drops, even the same amount of product actually goes a lot further with these back in. You just have to be a lot more careful with these because obviously it does go so far but at the same time it, I find these a lot easier to shear out and um, so if you do go crazy it's not so much of a problem as it might be with the iconic London drops that um, you know you'll end up with like a completely opaque stripe. So once I'm happy with the placement, I just then go in and blend with my Beauty Blender. Exactly the same as with the Iconic Drops. I'm going to take and I'll show you how little is left on here. This tiny amount. And I'm just going to put this onto my shoulder and zoom you out and you can see that gorgeous sheen that it gives you on your shoulder and it, both of these look gorgeous on your collarbones as well so this is the dew drops and this is the iconic drops so I'm just going to look really really close now sorry 
So comparing sort of as far as them, and I do have like issues with texture in these areas, neither is massively enhancing my texture. But if anything, I would say that the Dew Drops is enhancing it more than the London Drops slightly. And it's not an issue, it's not something that would put me off using it. But I would definitely say that this side with the Dew Drops on is looking slightly more textured than the Iconic side. Um, I don't know how much you can see on camera, but I would also say that the Dew Drops are more subtle um, than the Iconic London, which is like a pretty beat for such a small amount that we used on both sides of both products. This one is proper beaming, like you could go on a night out easily and that would be a full on beaming highlight. Whereas this is a much more sort of day to day subtle glow. Um, for the body, for me, the Marc Jacobs ones do it every time because they are just, they just like, it is like using a moisturizer. They just blend so nicely on your body. They obviously smell beautiful and they have all the sort of good ingredients for your skin in there as well. Um, the Iconic London ones do dry really quickly and they do have more of that sort of liquid dried powder sort of formula. So to blend it on your body might be more tricky by itself but obviously you've got the option to mix it with your moisturizer if you wanted to do that and um, so for me I actually prefer the dew drops for day to day if I had to choose and had to repurchase one or the other I would go for these and that is purely down to my personal preference I generally day to day would like a more subtle highlight I really like the option to just slather it all over my body particularly if I was wanting to take a product with me when I traveled or on holiday this would be the one that I would go for and um, and purely just as well the cost I mean these for like per mil the cost is insane, um, but obviously the, either of these is going to last you a very, very long time because you use so little. But if you are looking for a beaming, glowing, gorgeous highlight, I would go with these. If you're looking for a more subtle, more versatile product with more bang for your buck, I would go with these. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video. Bye bye for now.